Okay, selamat so uh, petang semua. Very good evening. Okay, hari ni uh, kita akan ada trial. Okay, we got trial for form 5 and maths. Okay, bab 2, pembezaan. Okay, sebelum tu saya nak buat pengenalan dulu. So, cikgu, nama cikgu adalah Miss Joanna. So, saya nak tahu kamu adalah uh, tingkatan berapa? May I know which form are you? Form 4 form 5? Sila tulis dekat uh, chat. 5. Okay, form 5, form 5. Semua form 5 lah kan? Sebab saya takut kalau form 4 mungkin tak berapa faham kan? Eh? Okay, form 5, form 5, form 5. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, cikgu adalah founder untuk SPM Malaysia untuk uh, YouTube channel. Kamu boleh search dekat sini. ya. Eh. You can search this name in uh, YouTube. So, kamu boleh subscribe lah Cikgu Bia channel sebab kita akan ada upload video dari masa ke semasa. Eh. Okay, we'll upload the video. So, let's go to the lesson. Hari ni saya akan ajar kamu. Oh, kamu nak exam sudah kan? So, saya nak ajar kamu pasal pembezaan ni soalan uh, yang pay, uh, paling popular lah iaitu cari titik pusingan. Okay, we are going to learn how to find turning point. Okay, before that, uh, about differentiation, why we need to learn differentiation? Kenapa kita nak buat pembezaan? Okay, pembezaan adalah y and then jadi dy dx, kan? Okay, this is differentiation. So why we need to do differentiation is because we want to find gradient. Yes, correct. Saya nampak ada orang betul. Eh? Pembezaan adalah untuk cari kecerunan. So kamu boleh tulis ah dy ds ini sama dengan kecerunan. Same as the gradient. Gradient of who? Gradient of curve. Kecerunan lengkung. Okay, same thing lah. So before I teach the turning point ah, I want to give you some basic thing first, can? Remember the slogan ah, I give you the slogan Number times power, power minus one. Okay, ingat dia punya slogan untuk pembezaan. Nombor darab kuasa, kuasa tolak satu. Okay, cuba kamu buat lah. Sama-sama kita buat lah. Kalau saya cak Y sama dengan 3X kuasa 2. DY DX jadi apa? Who knows what is the DY DX? 3X square become what? 6x square, are you sure? Number is 3, power is 2. 3 times 2, 6, correct. 3 darab 2, 6. And then, power minus 1, ah, kuasa tolak 1. So, 2 minus 1, 1. So, 6x lah. Then, kalau secara y sama dengan 4x kuasa 3, dia jadi apa? 4x cube. So, dy dx become what? 12x square, correct. Number 4 times power 3. Number times power. 4 darab 3, 12. And then power minus 1. Kuasa tolak 1, so jadi 2. Then, if let's say I give you only 5 lah, no x. Kalau tiada x jadi apa? Kosong, betul. No x becomes 0, eh? remember that. Kalau tiada x, terus dia jadi kosong sudah. Okay, then, ini kita sudah tahu. Ah. Then, tadi saya cakap, kita nak cari titik pusingan lah kan? We want to find the turning point. Then, what is the turning point means? Ah? Apa maksud titik pusingan maksud? Contoh, saya bagi kamu satu lengkung. I give you a curve like this. Ah. Ah, ini adalah titik pusingan. This is turning point. Why? Okay, you see. ah? This is going down, right? Turun, 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 turun. Sampai sini, lepas tu apa? After this one, go where? Go up. Atas, 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 atas. So, titik pusingan adalah titik di mana dia you turn. Turning point is a point that it turn, it change direction. Eh? So, it can be max or it can be min. Lah. Kalau ini adalah titik minimum. Kalau ini adalah titik maximum. Minimum point or maximum point, both is turning point. Dua-dua ni adalah titik pusing. Then, titik pusing dengan dy, dx ada kaitan ke? Got relationship or not? 
Yes. Okay, you see, uh, at turning point, this is the tangent, right? Ini garisan tangent, ma. So, apakah kecerunan dia? Siapa boleh bagi tahu saya? Kecerunan dia berapa? Kosong, betul. Zero. So, maksudnya pada titik pusingan, kecerunan kosong. Kecerunan tu dy dx, kan? Gradient is dy dx. So, at turning point, your dy dx is equal to zero. Okay, pada titik pusing, dy dx adalah sama dengan kosong. Okay tak? Faham konsep ini? So, remember, exam you see, oh, turning point, turning point, dy dx zero. Nampak titik pusing, dy dx kosong. Ataupun maximum point, minimum point, dy dx zero. Okay, so now, uh, you may screenshot this page lah. Kamu boleh screenshot dulu, sebab saya nak pergi soalan lah. Eh. Go to the question already. Okay, so let's see this question. They say, can you find the turning point? Cari titik pusing. So, titik pusing maksudnya apa? Turning point means dy dx equals to zero. Remember. So, I need to do dy dx first. Huh? Okay, y equals to 14x, 5 minus x. Got bracket, expand first. Kembang dulu. Okay, kembangkan dia. Kamu boleh sedia ke kertas. Huh? You can prepare a paper. We can do together lah. Sama-sama kita buat. Okay, 14x darab 5 berapa? 14x times 5, 70x. Then 14x times x. 14x darab x, 14x square. 14x kuasa 2. Lepas tu kita buat dy dx lah. Differentiate. Okay, 70x jadi apa? Differentiate 70x become 70. Correct. Downgrade lah. 1x tinggal tiada x. Ha? Okay, lepas tu sampai sini pula. Negatif 14x kuasa 2. Nombor darab kuasa. So, jadi apa? Negatif 28 kan? Negatif 14 times 2. Ha? Then, x square become x 1. Downgrade ya, x kuasa 2 jadi x. 1x jadi tiada x. And then, turning point dy dx 0. Okay, dy dx jadi kosong ya. Okay, 0 equals to 70 minus 28x. Can you find the x value? Cuba cari x. 28x adalah 70. So, 1x berapa? 70 divided by 28. 2.5. 70 bagi 28. Ah. Okay, we get X already. How to find Y? Turning point, ah, coordinate mesti ada Y kan? Ah, masuk balik Y ah, asal ini. Use the original Y here. So, when X is 2.5, Y, 14 X, and then 5 tolak X. So, X 2.5, 2.5. Can you press calculator? Empat belas bracket dua point lima bracket lima tolak dua point lima lapan puluh tujuh point lima ah. So maksudnya titik pusing ini adalah apa? The turning point x dua point lima y lapan puluh tujuh point lima. Yeah, and then it's max or min ah? Maximum. How you know it's maximum? Kenapa maximum? Sebab kamu tengok ini negative. Okay, x square is quadratic, right? Quadratic smiley or sad mah? So kalau dia negative, negative maksudnya sedih kan? Sedih maksudnya maximum point. Sad means maximum point. So you can say this is a maximum point ah. Titik pusing maximum. Ada soalan sini tak? Ya, yeah, like this only. I show you second question. Eh? Kita buat soalan kedua macam ni juga. Okay, this time is cubic. Eh? Okay, cubic. Cubic punya graph adalah macam ni punya. Snake. Okay, 
So, can you see got how many turning point? Berapa titik pusing sini kamu nampak? Dua, betul. Satu sini, satu sini. Okay, ada dua uh, titik pusing. Jadi, nanti kamu akan dapat dua X. Huh? You get two X and then two Y. So, they give you Y already. Remember, I need to do different station. Okay, kita buat pembezaan dulu. DY, DX. Okay, ini satu kan? One. One times three, three. Satu dapat tiga, tiga. And then, power minus one. Tiga tolak satu, dua. Okay, how about this one? Negative three times two. Negative tiga dapat dua, negative enam. X square become? X. Then the other X jadi apa? Ah, zero lah. Nothing ah. Titik pusing dy dx mesti sama dengan kosong. Turning point X is zero because at this point the gradient is zero. Kecerunan dia kosong ah. So dy dx pun kosong. Okay. Semua boleh bahagi dengan tiga kan? Divided by three first ah. So, x square minus 6x. Eh, dua-dua kita boleh keluarkan apa benda? Both we can take out what? X, correct. Dua-dua kita keluarkan x. ah. So, x kuasa dua kita keluarkan x tinggal apa? X square, I take out x, I left x. Then, negative 6x, I take out x, I left what? Negative 6, correct. Keluar X dengan negatif 6. So, ini X sama dengan apa? Nothing. So, it's zero lah. Tiada benda makan. X minus 6, X is what? X tolak 6, X sama dengan 6. Betul. So, sini ada dua titik. Two coordinate. Okay, lepas dapat X nak cari apa? What you want to find after you find X? Y, correct. So, Y kita guna original punya ni. So, when X, hmm, shouldn't it be negative minus 2X? Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I forgot. This one is 2, correct? Divide by 3 is 2. Thank you, thank you. I forgot already divide by 3. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, so now. When x is 0, find your y. Okay, masukkan. x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. So, 0, 0. y equals to 1. Right. So, ini sudah dapat. Oh, ini x kosong. y 1. Eh? x 0, y 1. Then, kalau saya punya x adalah 2. x 2 x cubed minus 3x square plus 1. This is 2, this is 2. Press calculator. Negative 3. So another turning point is 2 and negative 3. 2 dengan negative, uh, 2 dengan negative 3. So which one is maximum point? Uh? Mana satu titik maksimum ini? You, you see the X lah. Tengok pasti X dia. So, kamu rasa ini kosong satu, ini dua negatif tiga, ataupun ini dua negatif tiga, ini kosong satu. Which one is logic? Using the, using the coordinate. Tengok X. Ah, mestilah ini kosong satu makan. This is X0. Then ini X2. So 2, negative 3. So maksudnya ini adalah titik maksimum. Ini titik minimum. Okay, I show you another one. So far, got question or not? Eh? Ini ada masalah tak? Kalau ada masalah, tak faham boleh tanya. Eh? Not understand, you can ask. 
Okey, tak ada masalah. Okey, kalau begitu kita pergi ke soalan seterusnya. Next one. Hari ini kita punya trial ada susah sikit dah sebab exam dah datang so saya buat dia macam exam punya soalan, okay? Exam type question. So this one they give you a curve equation. Ini lengkung. And then dia cakap titik minimum. Okay, no matter minimum or maximum means what? Minimum, maximum, dy dx equals to zero. Okay, asalkan nampak maximum, minimum, dy, ds adalah kosong. So, when x equals to p. Okay, kalau begitu, sekarang dia nak kita cari p. Okay, kita cari p, kita buat dy, dx dulu. We do the differentiation first. Okay, dy, dx. 1x square become what? 1x kuasa 2. 1 darab 2. 2 kan? 1 times 2, 2. X square become X1. Then, negative 32 X jadi apa? Negative 32, betul. 64? Nothing ah, ini kosong. So, sekarang dy dx saya adalah kosong pada titik minimum. dy dx is 0. Can you find the X value? Cuba cari nilai X. 16, correct. Bahagi 2, so 16. So, they say X equals to P and then I get X is 16. So, P is what? So, P is 16. Done. Senang saja kan soalan ni? As long as you know or minimum point means dy dx zero, then everything will be simple. Okay, next question. Eh? Sekarang kita tengok soalan ni. Dia cakap, lengkung ini mempunyai titik pusingan. Oh, this curve has a turning point. As long as turning point means what? Turning point, maximum point, minimum point, dy, dx, zero. Okay? So, now they told you the turning point is this one. Oh, I know x negative one. I don't know Q. They ask you find the value P, find the value Q. How is it? Macam mana kita cari nilai P? Tak kisahlah. Kita buat apa dulu? We do what first? Differentiation. Okay, buat pembezaan dulu. Okay, so pembezaan. Eh? Ini kamu beza dapat apa? Nombor darab kuasa, kuasa tolak satu. P times 4, 4 P. And then power minus 1. Eh? 4 tolak 1, 3. Then 2x become what? 2, correct. Then dy dx kita letak apa? dy dx, 0. Okay, now. I want to find p value. Do you know the x value? Kamu tahu tak titik pusingan x dia berapa? Negative 1, betul. This one is x, ma. ini y. So, x is negative 1. We put in x negative 1. Can you find the p now? Two, sure. Bukan dua. Dua ke? P is two. Uh, one per two. Okay, kamu darab ini dengan ini dapat apa? Four times negative one cube is? Negative four, my right? Negative empat sebab negative satu cube tu negative. Eh? So, four P negative, I move here positive lah. So, P is 2 per 4. Ah. 2 per 4. So, dapat apa? 1 per 2. So, P is 1 per 2. Okay, masuk balik sini. Put it back here. P 1 per 2. X power to 4, 2X. Then, macam mana kita nak cari Q? Okay, dia sudah bagi saya 
koordinat X adalah negatif 1. And then Q adalah Y. Y is Q. So you've just put Y is Q. X is negative 1. Okay, tekan calculator berapa? Negative 1.5 kan? Negative 1.5 or negative 3 per 2 also can. Eh? Ataupun negative 3 per 2. So kita dapat Q, dapat P sudah. So P is 1 over 2. Q is negative 1.5. Okay, kita upgrade sikit eh. Just now is okay lah, right? We get upgrade a little bit. You don't need to do simultaneous. No need. Bukan semua kena buat persamaan serentak punya. Okay, sampai soalan ini. This time, they told you that these two curve, or oh, ada dua lengkung eh. Satu lengkung quadratic. This quadratic curve and this is cubic curve. Ini dua lengkung mempunyai titik pusing yang sama. Oh, common turning point. Ah. So, nampak titik pusing maksudnya apa? Turning point means dy dx is zero. And then they say both is same turning point. Oh, something like this. Ah. This is a cubic and quadratic. Lepas tu, ah, macam ni. So, dia mempunyai titik pusing yang sama. Maximum, minimum, dia sama. Okay? So, I need to find the turning point. So, dy dx zero. Which one easy? Ah? You think the yellow one easy or the blue one easy? Kamu nak cari titik pusing daripada yang kuning atau daripada yang biru? Biru ke kuning? Ah, Dua-dua pun ada ke? Kuning. Kenapa pilih kuning tak pilih biru? Why we choose yellow but not blue? Because blue got unknown. Ah. Ini ada P, ini ada Q kan? So, kita tak guna ni. We want everything numbers first. Semua nombor senang sikit dah. So, kita buat dy dx dulu. Okay, what is a dy dx? 2x square. Number times power 4. x square become x. Then, negative 4x jadi apa? Minus 4. 5, no more. Okay, dy dx kosong. Cari apakah dia punya x. 4x is 4. 1x is 1. 4x, 4. 1x, 1. Okay, lepas kita dapat x, kita nak cari apa? After you find x, you want to find y. Okay, ganti masuk sini ya. Ganti masuk. So, y equals to 2x square minus 4x plus 5. So, x is 1. What is y? Three. Okay, maksudnya titik ini adalah 1 dengan 3. The, the turning point is 1 and 3. x 1, y 3. Okay, kita sudah siap yang kuning ah. Boleh tak kita buat yang biru? Ya, boleh sudah. We can do for the blue color. Okay. Y equals to x cube minus p x square plus x plus q. Okay, kita buat dy dx juga. Differentiate x cube become what? x kuasa 3. 1 times 3, 3. x cube become x square. Negative P darab 2, negative 2 P. X square become X. And then 1 X become 1. So kalau untuk cari titik pusing, dy dx kita masuk, kosong kan? Eh, the X I should put what? Do you know X I should put what? X adalah 1 betul. So X I put 1. Ah, kali ni cuba tolong saya cari P tu berapa? 2. Are you sure? Yes, it's 2. 2. Kenapa? 
Ini adalah 3 tolak 2 P tambah 1. So 3 tolak 3 tambah 1, 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 P is 4. 1 P is 2. Okay, lepas dapat P macam mana kita nak cari Q? Masalahnya itu Q. Okay, senang saja. Saya salin balik soalan. Ah. I copy this one. Y equals to X cube minus P X square plus X plus Q. So P kena ganti dengan 2 kan? P is 2. Then X ganti dengan apa? X I put 1. And then Y ganti dengan 3. Betul. Y is 3. Then you can find Q ready lah. Y3, X1, P2, X1, X1. Okay, boleh cari Q tak? Boleh kan? 3, yes. Because this one you get 0. Ini kosong. So, 0 plus Q is 3. Q is 3. Faham soalan ni? Do you understand this question? Faham eh? Ada siapa tak faham tak? Yes, understand. <laughs> Me. Okay, I repeat again this question. This question, they give you two curve. Dia bagi kamu dua lengkung. So, this curve is the quadratic. So this curve, you can find the turning point. Lengkung ini kamu buat dy ds kosong, kamu boleh buat titik pusing. Ini okey tak? To find the turning point, okey right? Okey, lepas tu, kita guna titik pusing ini, kita buat untuk quadra, uh, cubic. We use the turning point for cubic because they say common. Mah. Sama ringgit titik pusing. Ah. So, same thing lah. Use the blue color one, but dy ds also zero. Kita buat dy ds, kita buat dia kosong. And then masukkan koordinat ini ke dalam persamaan tu untuk cari p. Okay, sub in the x one to find the p value. This one okay? Okay, then after that I want to find y. I want to find q. So use back this one. Y is three. X is 1. And then P is 2. Sub in, you get the Q value. Okay? Nampak dia punya idea kan? So, sekarang. Ah, itu tak lagi susah. Tak susah lagi ya. Not difficult question again. So, now we see application. Eh? Okay, kita tengok aplikasi dia. Sekarang dia bagi uh, ini soalan yang panjang sikit. Tapi saya shockkan dia banyak soalan. Eh? Pendekkan soalan dia. So maksud dia, dia ada satu uh, kawasan yang lapang dia nak buat untuk tanam. He want to make a farm. It's a rectangle farm. Di mana dia adalah 6X dan juga 4 tolak X. Okay, they give you the length ah, for 6x and 4 minus x. They ask you, he going to make a fence. Dia nak buat pagar sini. Okay, fence, you know, right? Pagar. So, dia nak tanya jumlah panjang dia berapa? What is the total length if my area is maximum? Oh, you see that? Jika luas saya adalah maximum. Maximum maksudnya apa? As long as you see maximum, minimum means dy dx is zero. Mesti ya, maksimum, minimum, titik pusing. Semua dy dx kosong. So, kalau dia siap luas, macam mana kita cari luas? Ha? Area is maximum. How to find area? So, multiply right. Panjang darab, lebar. Okay, 6x. Oh, no need this one. 6x times 4 minus x. Okay, expand inside ah, kembang dia. So, luas sama dengan 
24x tolak 6, x kuasa 2. 24x minus 6x square. Eh, ada dy dx ke sini? Do I, have, do, I, do I have a y? No. Kalau ini bukan y, kita tulis apa? Bukan dy dx, kita tulis apa? Da dx, correct. Bukan dy dx, but da dx because this is a. So, kita buat pembezaan. Eh? Cuba kamu bagi saya jawapan, lepas beza jadi apa? After differentiate, what is the answer? Twenty four minus twelve x correct. Dua puluh empat tolak dua belas x. And then maximum right? Maximum means d a d x is zero. Okay, pembezaan adalah kosong. So apakah nilai x saya? So you rearrange. Twelve x is twenty four. Twenty four divided twelve is two. So x kamu dapat dua. Oh, so kita dapat dua sudah. Boleh tak kita masuk sini? Can right? Okay, we put in already. So, panjang dia adalah 6 darab 2 dapat 12. So, this is 12. This is 12. 12, 12. And then this one, 4 minus 2 equals to 2. So, ini 2, ini pun 2. So, berapakah panjang pagar dia? The total length. Twenty-eight. Okay, twelve plus twelve plus two plus two, twenty-eight meter. Okay, tak? Senang saja kan? Nampak susah. You see the question like very difficult, but it's very simple. As long as maximum differentiate equals zero, beza dapat kosong saja. Okay, then, um, ada soalan? You may screenshot the question first. Ah. I zoom up for you. Kamu boleh screenshot dulu. Sudah. Okay, kita masuk lagi satu soalan. Ah. One more question. Okay, this is a cue board. They give you the dimension. Ah. Sudah bagi sini. 2x, x dengan y. Cikgu jawapan soalan 3, 16. Soalan 3. Yeah, I see first. Ya, yeah, 16 betul. Okay, so sini dia sudah bagi kamu semua dimensi, uh, dimensi kan? All the dimension. They told you the total volume is 72. How to find volume? Macam mana cari isi padu? Panjang, darab lebar, darab tinggi. Right. So the total volume is 2x times x times y equals to 72. Oh, maksudnya sini 2x kuasa 2 y. 72. Uh, so y is what? Eh? Y is 72 over 2x square, right? So, 72 bahagi 2 dapat 36. Kenapa saya nak cari Y sebenarnya? Sebab dia nak kita cari jumlah luas. They want me to find total surface area but only got X. You see? Hanya ada X, tiada Y kan? Dia nak kita cari tunjuk ini. Show this one. So, ini Y kita tak tulis Y sudah. Kita tulis 36 per X kuasa 2. Understand? Okay, can you tell teacher cuboid got how many surface? Ah? Cuboid ada berapa luas permukaan? 6 betul. Ada 6 permukaan. Ah. So, Ah, uh, Ini saya pindah ke bawah dulu. Okay. Permukaan ini dulu. Ini adalah apa darah apa? This one is 2x times y. Correct. So 2x times this one. Alright. 
So, luas permukaan dia 2X darab 36 X kuasa 2. And then don't forget, the front and back is it same? Depan belakang sama tak? Sama kan? So, sama apa yang kamu buat? Same you do times 2, right? Okay, later we times 2. Eh? Nanti baru kita darab 2. Okay, lepas tu ini pula. CC, the side. So, the side is X times Y, correct? X darab Y. Di mana X adalah ini, Y adalah ini. So, this one is X times Y. Okay, lepas tu. Apa lagi saya belum kira? Top view, right? Okay, top view how to find? Eh? Apakah luas atas ini? Ini dengan ini sama. 2X darab X betul. 2X times X. And then everything times 2. Kita darab 2 sebab ada atas bawah, depan belakang, tepi-tepi. Okay. So got 6 lah. 1, 2, 3 times 2 got 6. So this one, I times first ah. X over X no more right? Oh got, got. X bagi X plus 2 masih ada X ah. So 2 times 36 is 72 over X. 36 over X. 2X square. Ini kalau saya tambah jadi berapa? Eh? 7, 2, tambah 3, 6. 72 plus 36, 108. Okay, everything times 2. Semua darab 2. So, 2, 1, 0, 8 darab 2, 2, 1, 6. 2, 1, 6 over X. 2, X square times 2, 4, X square. Same or not? Sama lah kan? Same thing. So, same means done, proven. Ah, terbalik tak apa. Depan belakang terbalik tak apa. Okay, soalan B, cari jumlah luas permukaan maksimum. Find the maximum total surface area. Maximum means what? Maximum dy dx is zero. Okay, tapi dia nak kamu cari luas. Ah. They want you to find the area. So, I need to do dA dx first. Okay, luas 2, 1, 6 per x tambah 4 x kuasa 2. Kamu kena naik ke atas dulu. This one you need to bring up first. Ah. So, 2, 1, 6, X power to what? Kalau pindah atas, X jadi X kuasa? Negative 1, betul. Negative 1. So, bezakan dia. So, I differentiate it. Number times power. Nombor darab kuasa. Negative 2, 1, 6. Then, power minus 1. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, then ini pun. Nombor darab kuasa, 4 times 2, 8. X square become X. Okay, lepas tu kamu kena pindah bawah lagi. ya. Eh. You bring it down. Macam ni. X negative 2, you bring down. DA, DX, we put 0. Eh. Okay, macam mana kita nak cari nilai X ni? Negative, I put, become, bring to another side, positive. So, X kuasa 2, kita pindah jadi darab 8X cube. So, boleh cari X tak? Well done. Yang lain dapat tak?
So, 216, you divided by 8 first. Ah. Bahagi dengan 8. So, kamu dapat 27, kan? Then, punca kuasa 3. X cube, you get 3. Is it done already, the question? Kita siap so sudah soalan ke? Tidak, sebab dia tanya apa? The question ask for what? Ask for the area. Dia cakap luas berapa. Bukan cakap X berapa. So, nak cari luas, kita masuk X ini lagi. We put it back here. So, A sama dengan 2, 1, 6 bahagi X. X is 3. X is 3. So, what is the area? One zero eight cm square. This is maximum area. Luas maximum. Okay. Uh, we finished the lesson already. Ah, eh? kita sudah habis kita punya lesson. Okay. Do you like today lesson? Or do you, did, is today lesson help you or not? Hari ni punya lesson ada bantu kamu sikit tak? Macam mana kita cari uh, turning point? Yes, okay. So, do you want to uh, like help yourself to get A in SPM? Yes, of course, right. Everyone want to get A. Who don't want, right? Okay, then, do you want to get a personal one-to-one -one Q and A? Yes, of course. So this one Q&A is only for student that uh, join my tuition class. Ah. Siapa yang join class tuition saya, kamu akan dapat terus free uh, guideline dengan uh, macam mana kamu boleh jawab soalan yang susah dan kamu boleh tanya cikgu soalan yang uh, sekolah bingat soalan. Okay, then. Macam mana kita dapat ini? Ha, tengok dulu ah maklumat sini. Kita ada tuition setiap uh, minggu. Okay, we will have tuition class every week. So, but this one is not for free. Eh? Ini bukan free bingat. So, trial class is free for you to know how is the tuition look like. So, if you like the tuition uh, trial class just now, you may think to join our tuition class. Lah. So, we got three subjects. Eh? We got MAT, Mathematics and Account. Okay, tiga subject. Ini jadual kamu boleh screenshot dulu. Then, if let's say you say, teacher, I, uh, I cannot join your class because your class is clash with my activities. Saya sudah ada kelas uh, lain ke, saya sudah ada activity lain ke, saya tak boleh join. Tapi, kamu boleh tengok video selepas kelas punya. You can watch a video. Ah. Okay, let's see what you will get in the tuition class. So, we'll get live class every week. Okay, setiap minggu, satu jam, 30 minit dengan uh, kelas. Then, uh, one month for class lah. Satu bulan mesti ada empat kelas. Ah. Okay, you get private video for every class means uh, I will upload the video in the group. But it's private group. Ah. Okay, kita ada satu group untuk tuition. Kamu akan nampak itu link. So, kamu boleh tengok itu video bila-bila sahaja. Dan kamu boleh tengok banyak kali. You can watch it unlimited time. And you get version not in PDF. And you can ask teacher question. And we will practice on a hot question like exam question and how to score A. Okay, macam mana kita boleh dapat A. So, of course, we will learn from basic lah. I will teach you basic and then from easy to hard. There is senang ke susah. Okay, this is our uh, review from student. Okay, this student is a, uh, this review for account lah. Okay, he's come from Sabah and then before he joined my class, he's very terrible in form 4. Uh, orang ni dia, uh, pelajar ni dia join saya form 5. So masa form 4 dia punya result tak berapa bagus punya. Tapi form 5 ah dia terus dapat A plus dan dia dapat best student for account in his school. Dapat uh, anugerah untuk pelajar paling uh, cemerlang bagi subjek account. Okay, of course uh, we got others like uh, mathematics pun dia improve jadi A plus and math pun improve from fail to B+. Okay, this one, 
if let's say you say, teacher, I just want to buy video, can or not? Can you see this student? Eh? She never joined my live class. They just watch video only. Okay, pelajar ni dia tak join class minggu-minggu, setiap minggu. Dia tengok video saja. Eh? Okay, she get 98 marks for uh, her account year-end exam. Very good, right? Okay, this one also highest uh, marks for these three subjects. So, do you know what is the price for the tuition? Siapa nak tahu? Berapa harga kita? Eh? Adakah sangat mahal ke? Uh, you can raise hand also. Eh? Okay. If you ever join class at other uh, tuition center, may I know how much is for one subject? Berapa harga untuk satu subject yang kamu pernah join? 75. 55. I mean for tuition center lah. Ada lagi? Oh, your MS now 75. 45, 75, 70. Okay, around is 60 to 90 lah, right? Biasa 60 hingga 90 lah. Then, kalau untuk kita, adakah 90? Ah, bukan. 70? Bukan. 50? Bukan. Then, berapa? Okay, sekarang satu subjek 40. Ah, let's say you say, I want to take two subjek. I want to take account and MS. Ah, two subjek cheaper, 75. Then, three subject only, 100. Tiga subject, 100 ringgit saja. So, if you want to take all six subject, also can. If six subject, 200 lah. Okay, just times two. Eh. Ada juga pelajar dia join semua. Form four, tiga subject. Form five, tiga subject. Tapi, ikut kamu bingat masa lah, okay? Depends on your time. If you, if you manage to watch video, I will prefer form five student watch form four video. Saya cadang kalau form 5 student, dia beli video untuk form 4. Kalau kamu nak ulang kaji form 4, punya topik lah. Then form 5, you can join tuition. But of course, you can join tuition for both. Uh, no matter. Then, uh, if you want to register, please screenshot this page also. Okay, screenshot. You can message teacher in Telegram or WhatsApp. You can say, teacher, I want to join your tuition class. So, you can say, I'm, uh, I already watched your trial video or trial class. I already joined your trial class. So I can send you the details. Lah. Uh, by video, by video, the price is different. Eh? You can also ask teacher like, for example, you say, I want to buy form 4, chapter 10. Yeah, I want to buy form 5, chapter 2. Also, you can you can buy video. Eh? Ada soalan tak? Tak ada. Okay, so no question. Eh? Uh, you want to screenshot the answer. Okay, can. Wait a moment. Okay, siapa nak screenshot jawapan ni? Kamu boleh screenshot dulu. Thank you for sharing. Okay, thank you for joining my class also. Okay, so I hope you uh, hope to see you on the live class. Eh? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.